dealing with a rich nigga. Cause he gon' trick and I'm trick it. Oh, girl, I hate it, but you don't. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute, a long minute, but we're back for the summer, okay? So, if y'all can see, first of all, if you guys don't know, my name is Makaya. I am a nursing student slash natural hair girly. So I do all videos on my natural hair or nursing uh, school, like stuff like that. Mainly like lifestyle stuff, like stuff I really like, which is, yeah. But if you guys are new here, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you know if I with every video I post. And also make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms, Instagram and TikTok, mainly. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so as y'all can see by the title... We're about to talk about some nursing stuff. Nursing school stuff, where have I been? Why I haven't posted in a month? People was asking me like, where you been? How much do you spend? Like, it was crazy. Like people was like, where's like a video of my first semester or I should make a video about my first semester, which I, I was planning on doing anyway. But, but yeah, y'all, it's gotten real. But I'm not just gonna just talk. I have food here, so I'm going to eat and talk, so. I have my Simply Lemonade here, Spike Lemonade. If it ain't Spike, it ain't right. So, and then I have some juicy seafood. Hold on. I have some juicy seafood right here. So, period. Hold on, let me get a little thummy. Okay, so I have my juicy seafood here. I have the Mr. Captain Special. Uh, so it comes with a cluster, comes with a cluster of crab legs, half a pound of shrimp, no head, sausage, eggs, and shrimp. Oh wait, I think I said it already. Sausage, egg, and uh, potatoes, and a corn. So I got a little bit of that. So we're about to taste test all this before we get started. Hopefully y'all can see my food. Y'all can see. If y'all know me, y'all know I love to eat. Ugh. Period. I'm not going to finish all this. I already know that. Especially, like, I can't eat and talk for real. But we're going to try, like, this sausage. Yeah, y'all, I've been craving seafood. Literally. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <gasps> Please don't be messy. Please don't be messy. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Next week I plan on going on a diet. I want to help. I want to eat better. I've been eating real bad. Nurse school, eating real bad. I go out all the time. I have to eat. I've been eating real bad. So next week I wanted to start like going to the gym, eating better, helping like my gut health and stuff like that. Cause your girl been bloated like. I've been getting weight. It's not like not even funny. Like, it's really not. Like, I'm the heaviest I've ever been. I weigh like 160. Now, for nursing school, I was like at 155. So I probably gained about like five pounds. But I told y'all that in my previous nursing video, you either gonna lose weight or you gonna gain weight. Just saying. Let me try to spike lemonade, then we'll get started. No way. <sighs> mm, I got the strawberry spike lemonade. Okay. Wasn't bad. It's pretty good. All right, y'all. So let's get to, let's get to nursing school. Okay. So let's just talk about overall my first year of nursing school and my experience and everything um y'all don't know if y'all are new here i am a nursing student i just completed my first semester of nursing school and it was a rough one 
I'm not going to lie to y'all. This was like the biggest transition I ever had to make. Like, it's not even funny. I never felt so exhausted in my life before. And it's just like, I don't know, man. This is something, this is really like, this is really different than like regular college. Like, I'm like, I'm not exaggerating. I'm telling y'all, this is like, I'm telling you, you just really have to be an extra student to really understand. This is, this is not like regular college. And I'm just saying like, like the material we're learning, like the stuff we're learning, like we're learning how to save fucking lives. Like we're learning how to take care of people. Like it's a lot to it than what you think. Ah. Sorry, I have to crack this. But yeah. <coughs> Fuck. But yeah, I can say nursing school is definitely the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. It's not even funny. Like the dedication you have to have in nursing school is like ridiculous. But I don't know. And it's like I knew that, but like it's really, it's really crazy, y'all. So I'll talk about my first half of the first semester. So during my first half of my first semester, I was taking lab. So we were pretty much learning like different type of skills, like hand washing, tray care, uh, sterile stuff, like how to pump sterile gloves, um, learning IVs. Um, Central line, central line dressings, like enemas. Like that was the stuff we was learning, like just different skills. And then my other class was fundamentals. So that's kind of like we're learning like the basics of nursing. That's like what that class is, like the basics of nursing. Like we ain't complex yet. Like we're just trying to get that basic knowledge of nursing and like the gist of it. So a lot of times if you haven't been in the healthcare field, that course is pretty challenging. But at first, that course was pretty challenging for me because I felt like fundamental. I thought I was like had that class in a bag because I thought it was just so like standard care of nursing, like things we um like talking about like safety and infection control and stuff like that. But it's a little bit more to it. I didn't. I just thought it was kind of like that simple, like fundamentals, like. It's a little bit more to it. That class, I definitely struggled at first, like with that class, like, cause even when we was learning, I'm like, okay, I got this in a bag. Like this should be, this don't even this seem like a hard class. And then it's like when test day come, I have so much anxiety during tests. It's not even funny. Every time I take a test, I'm like literally shaking. Like, I'm not shaking, but I'm literally like just. I'm ready to get this over with because I don't like the feeling of being anxious like at all because you just never know what you're going to get on a test like you never know you it's like the unknown like you just don't know what they're going to ask you or whatever so I feel like my fundamentals uh teacher she was cool and all that stuff it like and the test was like cool and all but I don't know I feel like you have to kind of study a little different with these courses so I was kind of struggling with that. I had talked to my advisor because this was the point in time I was like, I don't know if I'm going to make it out of fundamentals. Because I'm just like, I'm studying. Like, I don't know. Like, like what should I do? Like, different study techniques. Like, how to study. And then she was like, um, she was giving me, like, different things, ways how to study and whatever, whatever. And I could talk about that in a different video. Like, so how I study. Um, and I'm still work in progress on like studying because like I told y'all before like I wasn't like I wasn't never I wasn't really a studier like, I'm really not like okay let's get to sitting down and study like I don't like studying like it's going on but I don't really care for it this is slapping that class it was um it was cool I thought I talked to my advisor and stuff like that. And she kind of gave me some different like study techniques and stuff like that. I was starting to get like better in the class. And then I ended up with like an 80% in fundamentals. So I finished out with like an 80%. And then lab I finished out with like a 90 something. So basically that class it was like I was getting checked off on skills. Different skills and whatever. 
and we had to show them to like our instructors and whatever and it was like super nerve-wracking i remember my first like skill other than hand washing that was like easy but like like a real different skill like i feel like the hardest skill that we done was like straight hair i think that was like the hardest one mm. because i was like sorry if i look messy let me see but I feel like trach hair was so, it was so, was it trach hair? It might have been. Because I feel like one of them had like, or NG tube. It was one of those. Because I feel like one of them had like so many steps. And I was like so nervous I forgot one. But I ended up doing pretty good on it. I just feel I pretty much did. I did pretty good on it. Like I didn't get, I usually got like all, like 9s out of 10s or something like that. Couple of 10 out of 10s. I think the lowest I got on skills was like an 8 out of 10. That was like only one thing though. I got like an 8 out of 10 on one thing. But I already knew that though because I'm a hands-on learner. You teach me something hands-on and I can show it to you like hands-on. It's just a lecture. I suck because it's like my attention span is, is really bad. Like I really want to get evaluated for ADHD because people think I have it. Like, no bullshit. Those two classes, I, I did good and I did fine. So, past the first half of first semester. But, baby, let's get to the nitty gritty. That second half was something serious. They tomatoes never usually, like, bust like this. Like, they be good, but they never, like, bust like that. Second semester was the hardest, most stressful thing in my life. So, I have med search one. I have med search one clinical. And I have farm bruh I'm not even this is not funny this I was so stressed out this second half of the semester I was stressed out all semester but this one really did a number on me like this was like the point I was talking about like I don't even know nurses for me like do I really want to be a nurse like is this really for me and really start having me question like this career path like no lie um, so let's talk about med surge. I feel like med surge is kind of a little common sense, but not really. Because we're learning like, um, so we're kind of learning about like dip, like a little bit of certain diseases or illnesses or like, like, let's say like, um, osteoarthritis or RA, um, what else did we learn this semester? All these anaphylactic shots, like hypertension, hypovolemia, full of our deficit, like, but like we was learning about like all that, like uh, edema, um, scope to practice and all that, like just different little stuff, like kind of like the basics, like with like inhalers, using inhalers, like what do you do? Like stuff like that. Like it was really kind of like pretty straight to the point, but so that class was cool, but I feel like I had a rough start. I don't have a rough start. I actually had a pretty decent start to med surge, but my my attention, like putting, I haven't, I, I know I haven't put in much attention to that class because I was so focused on my farm class, which is the hardest thing I ever like encountered. Farm is so hard. <laughs> if y'all took farm, Teach me, babe, because it was like, hold on, let me finish up my message. But anyway, message was cool, but I was really putting all my all into farm because, so my grades started to kind of slip down because I'm trying to focus on farm and learn how to study because it's a different type of study technique with farm. Like, all these classes, like, you got to kind of study different. Like, it's not funny. So, um, yeah, so just studying like all that stuff so pretty much we like farm or whatever so we're pretty much learning like all the drugs and all that stuff like that the classes of them adverse effects um the adverse effects patient teaching uh nursing considerations um like it's a lot to it and it's a lot of drugs like and then we're the first semester to ever have farm in eight weeks instead of 16 weeks like don't that scream set up like I, it gives set up so Imagine learning, oh, my uh, camera's overheating. Imagine learning, like, so many different drugs in, like, eight weeks. Like, 
I'm sorry, like, people can do that because a lot of people, you know, they did it, but I can't, like, that's a lot. I can't, I can't, I'm not, I'm not that girl, like, I'm really not, like, I'm not that, I'm not that, I'm smart, but I'm not that smart to, like, I can handle all that, all that pressure. It's trying, and trying to, like, focus on another, like, kind of hard class. I mean, it wasn't that hard as message, but still trying to keep up with that class and then, like, in my schoolwork with clinicals, like, it was a lot, like, I'm telling y'all, so, a message, um, I took my final, whatever, I ended up passing the final, and I ended up passing the class, like, with a literally, barely, I barely passed message, because I stopped kind of putting my all to message, because I was like, let me put my all into farm, and that was, like, a bad idea, so, but, I passed farm, she's so a good degree, so, I mean, not farm, I passed my search because C gets degrees, babe. So I did my best and whatever. Try to like, okay. So I really started putting my effort into back into my search when I knew I was going to feel far. So, and like I just said, I fell far. <laughs> I failed my farm class. Literally, I knew like two weeks, like in before my final, I knew I wasn't going to pass the class. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, like. I'm gonna keep it a buck, y'all. Like, I'm not about to be like, yeah, I passed my class and fucking lie. Like, I'm gonna be dead ass. Like, I did not pass. Um, yeah, I really just had a bad start to the class in general because it was like, peep, I'm studying, trying to study each medication, each drug, and then like later down the long line, I figure out I gotta just study the class of the drug, like, or whatever. But I don't know, I just feel like how my instructor was doing it it was given it was given like and i feel like even the questions too it's like i feel like i needed to learn each and drug individually and stuff like that like that's how i felt like i needed but maybe i just got like the wrong idea i don't know but i was struggling so hard in that class <clears throat> i feel like i just maybe just didn't have a good studying method or whatever whatever maybe i just didn't study hard enough for the class like maybe i didn't really put my all as i thought i was but hey it it happens y'all like if y'all like feel something like it happens like um it happens i guess it, it will like hit you or whatever because when i accepted i knew i was gonna pass the class two weeks ago and i was like fine and dandy i didn't study like at all i was putting my all back on med surge which got my grade up back up and I was putting my all back on med search because I knew I wasn't going to fail. So, I'm not about to fail both classes. Hell no, nah, because I would have got kicked out the program, I think. So, <clears throat> no. So, I was like, okay. Fuck farm. I'm going to just study for med search. Fuck it. So, I passed med search. I didn't pass my farm. And it is what it is. Like, it did hit me, though, the day I, like, seeing, like, my some of my friends, like, pass the class and... Like, I didn't, like, it definitely, like, I had, like, a mental breakdown, like, twice that day. But, but people was talking to me, like, my friends or whatever, like, it's, like, it's okay, like, you get to take it over the summer or whatever, because I didn't want my graduation date to be pushed back. Because if I can't find, a, like, a farm class over the summer, I'll be graduating in 2025. And that's definitely not, no. I want to graduate next year. I want to get this over with as soon as I can. I want to get this over with as fast as possible. So, uh, oh, I feel like I look dirty. Okay, okay. Okay, um, it was a little kind of like, it was disappointing because it's like, I'm, I'm someone like, I don't like failing, like feeling like a loser. Like, I'm, I'm such a competitive person. So like feeling like a loser, like that's not a good feeling because like, it's not a good feeling, but I will say once I feel like a like a failure or whatever whatever sorry I just burped once I feel like a, like a failure or some type of sort I know that I'm about to come back so much harder like this semester I'm, I mean this summer once I get a seven to farm back into farm this semester like I'm coming hard like don't ask me to do nothing until I pass this class like dead ass um like or whatever like now it's like a game so now we about to be competitive like I gotta I gotta pass so no ifs, ands about it. Because if I pass, if I fail this course again, I'm out the program. And I cannot disappoint myself like that. And I can't disappoint y'all either. So, my family, nothing. Like, 
that would be like whack. I'd rather me quit the program than flunk out the program. Like, I'm sorry. So, yeah. So, pretty much that's my plan this summer. So, we take farm. I got to take my Gen Ed course. My camera's about to stop. So, hold on. My, my camera's overheating. So, we're back. Um, but, hold on. Let me, like, kind of talk a little fast. Got one battery left. So, we got to make this last. Overall, I, like, any advice I give you guys is definitely, like, please don't. Think, think this is a game you really gotta really put some effort into nursing school um don't take like and it'd be like it gets to the point where like i remember like if you go out like you start feeling guilty like dang i could be studying right now like it's just like that's how you feel like having like fun and stuff like that you feel guilty about it because it's like you could be studying right now like why are you why are you going out like why are you going out and i do a man i had like like saturdays i did kind of keep myself busy but like i felt like i needed like some time to myself like to not think about school because i was so like wrapped up in school um and it's like i just need a little outlet and now i usually was like so tired because y'all know y'all watch my tiktoks y'all like no every tuesday i work 24 hours like i'm up for 24 hours i go to school during the day work my whole 12 night shift and then don't go to sleep until that next day so i'm up for like a little bit literally a little bit more than 24 hours like 26 so like a lot of thing is i be tired y'all so and i feel like that was definitely hindering my learning and my listening skills and like lecture because i'd be so tired so, I definitely know, like, in the fall, I got to kind of switch something up. Like, maybe go PRN at work. Even though that's, uh, this is like, dang, I don't know if I can do that. But, or I'll find another job with a better pay that I can work less and still make good money. Like, so something's going to have to give because I can't keep, I can't, I can't, like, already lose any more money that I already did moving to part-time instead of full-time. Like, I can't do it. So something's gonna have to give, but I feel like one thing I learned definitely about like school or whatever nursing school is like just really put your all into it. Study like like shit. Study out loud, like talk to yourself, like flashcards, like that's the stuff like I have like memorize it memorizing and talking like talking the process out on that's how I like to learn. Um or whatever. I'm going to definitely be more disciplined on myself. Like, um, this summer, I definitely want to start new habits on working on discipline. I feel like you got to have, like, discipline in nursing school. Um, but, yeah, like, this summer, like, I want to read a book. Um, uh, while I'm in my, like, summer classes, like, I plan on kind of, like, reading. I want to read, like, uh, finish a book this summer. Like, I want to get into more reading, um, helping my vocabulary because I am slang as shit. Um... So, like, even, like, learning these, like, medical terminologies and stuff, like, um, it was, like, it was very hard. Because it was just, like, I have a hard time saying these big-ass words. I'm like, damn, like, what the fuck is this? Because even, like, doing, like, these, like, uh, so, like, for clinicals or whatever. We was at a nursing home for clinicals. Next semester, we'll be in a hospital setting. But we had to kind of get our feet wet at the nursing home. Um, which was cool. Like, the nursing home was cool. I learned a lot. We learned, like, we seen, like... Uh, tunnel wounds like we learn how to do like wound care um what else what else we do um we did we feed the patients but i've done that before we uh, fed the patients uh we did nurses notes right nurses notes right care plans uh we practiced our physical assessment that's what something we had to master in clinicals this semester was physical assessments because we're going to be doing that a lot i guess next semester at the hospital so we passed like physical assessment. I performed in front of my teacher and she said I did pretty good. And she just said, and she said I look confident, which I was so nervous doing. I was so nervous doing that physical assessment. Cause I was like, <clears throat> I'm like, bro, like I don't want to miss nothing because when you like when you have to do physical assessment, you gotta be kind of very detailed on the findings you find, like stuff I learned. So I'm gonna tell you something I learned. That was like really cool. So, when you look at a patient's eyes, have them shine a light in their eye. Um, you always tell, make sure you always tell them, like, I'm going to try to go through, like, a physical assessment. Okay. 
So um, you always uh, check for a learning orientation of the patient. So I will ask them like, uh, what's your name? Uh, date of birth? Do you know where you are right now? Do you know what time of day it is? Um, uh, do you know why you're here? Whatever, whatever. So they can answer to all the uh, questions. Then they're lower or take times four, three or four, or something like that. And then, then you ask them if they have any pain. Do you got to ask them about the pain? So uh, how long the pain lasts? How does the pain feel on a scale of 110? How the pain feel? Uh, what alleviate the pain? What's your like normal tolerance of the pain? Like you ask stuff like that. Then you go to the scalp. Uh, look at the scalp. Does it have any uh, lesions, bumps, scars? Um, uh, is it an infestation? Then you go down. Eyes. Uh, it's a lot, y'all. Like I'm telling. You, uh, do they have nice, uh, nice stigma? Which is like when you flash the light into their eye and then you like move it, and if they eyes kind of jerk. Instead of like moving like smoothly, if it kind of like jerk, that's what nystagma mean. I, that's something I learned. But I learned a lot. Like I could, the fact I can tell y'all kind of how to do it, like I, you could tell I learned a lot. So I ain't gonna lie, you learned a lot in nursing school. I'm telling you. So that's pretty exciting though. Like you just kind of like increase your knowledge. Like that is pretty exciting. I ain't gonna lie to you. So, but yeah, overall. All my classes were solid, but farm. That was really the only one I was really like uh, struggle busting. So, um, but I'm gonna do better. Uh, whatever, whatever. I'm gonna figure out a different schedule with work. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I gotta figure out something with work because I don't know. I can't do the 24 hour days anymore. That was like that was a, it was a cool run, but I can't do that no more. So, but yeah. But I think that's pretty much it, y'all, like, with first semester. Um, other way, like, YouTube and trying to post more this summer, I'm going to definitely be posting more. Um, not, like, as much as I wanted to because I still have classes. And um, I really want to focus on farm, like, passing that, you know, move on forward with in, fall, in the fall. So, like, that's going to be my biggest thing is farm. And then, I'm sorry, y'all, y'all going to have to come second. I, I'll get to y'all, but... I gotta pass bomb, like it's no question, like at all. And another advice I will say before I wrap this video up, stay positive. I was so hard on myself this semester, like real bad. Like I'm telling you, speak negative, speak negative, you're gonna have negative results. I'm telling you that now. So like I definitely gotta speak more positive about myself. Like you can tell all my nursing friends, all my nursing friends was like, you got you gotta be more positive. And I'm like, I do, but I'm so hard on myself, y'all. Like, I'm, like, negative fucking Nancy. It's not even funny. But I'm going to do better with that. Speak more positive. I need to start, like, having, like, affirmations. Like, I got to speak more positive. Like, it's, like, not funny. Because I feel like... If I feel like... I maybe feel like if I didn't speak negative about, like, I'm not passing farm, I probably... If I didn't speak, like, negative about I probably would have passed it. No lie. But I've been hard on myself this whole semester. I ain't gonna lie. I will get better with that in due time in the future. I learned a lot this semester. And so next semester it's up. It's up and stuck, okay? But yeah, I think that's it, you guys. Um if you guys have any more questions, let me know. I can do I can answer more questions like in a separate video, but or in the comments down below. Just let me know what y'all rather have. I got like all my mess on the side. But yeah, y'all, that's really it uh, about school, a little nursing update, whatever. Any questions y'all have, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I will answer them. Or if y'all want me to do another video about a topic, let me know down in the comments. Um, new videos are coming. Um, I'm trying to do like vlogging more, try to vlog more. It's kind of, I get anxiety vlogging. I ain't going to lie to you. Like out in public, it's like, I'm just like sneaking my way into filming like i gotta be out in the open like i stop i can't be scared so but yeah that's it y'all i'm just ready to tackle this farm class in the, over the summer because i will pass no if ands about it okay but thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you guys tune into the next video and i'll talk to you guys in the next one